In this lecture, I plan to help you with Oncology 101. I will be discussing the different types of tumors, different types of treatments, staging systems, as well as how to organize yourself. In my talk, I will discuss what the latest research is on the Disabilities Act, as well as what protections you have for your career, and why you may want to work and say that out loud and share that with others. For many patients, it becomes a really difficult landscape to navigate because there's just so much conflicting and contradictory information out there about all things non-conventional and holistic approaches. I look forward to providing you with what I didn't have and what I wish I would have had when my family member was battling cancer. I'm excited to bring my years of experience to this forum where we'll get an opportunity to talk about how to empower women with cancer diagnoses uh, through a mental health lens. Um, what we know from research is women that do focus on their mental health uh, priorities and make it a priority uh, during their cancer treatment uh, tend to have better health outcomes. I work with people who have trauma and triggers, pretty much negative life events that seem to show up when they're not invited. I look forward to sharing with you how you can address these triggers and these memories and integrate them so that your body no longer has to try to protect you and remind you of these difficult moments you've been through, but so that you can process them and release them and go forward in a different way. I'm Dr. Sunny Miles and I practice palliative and integrative medicine. I'm passionate about helping people navigate these challenges, helping people feel more resilient, and helping people identify and live what matters most to them, even while they're going through treatment. It's crucial to discern between inherited and sporadic cancer, to understand what cancers can be inherited, what is a mutation, what is genetic testing, and to separate fact from fiction, especially in the day of social media. In this presentation, I'll be drawing on my years of clinical experience as an art therapist, working bedside at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center with female oncology patients and their families, caregivers, and providers, and explore the many ways that art can help heal and empower patients, reinstill a sense of hope, calm, and mastery, and eventually lead to better patient outcomes. I'll be speaking about menopause and cancer, and how do we help women navigate the collateral damages of breast cancer treatment, which often includes premature menopause, surgical menopause, or menopause due to her treatments. I'm really excited to share with you about what psycho-oncology is, essentially in a nutshell, it's mental health and cancer care. We will begin by discussing the role of nutrition and what impact it can have on your health after cancer. Then we'll review the healthy eating recommendations for cancer thrivers, and we're going to discuss some specific dietary patterns and types of foods that can help optimize your health after cancer. Then we will have a cooking demonstration to show you how to prepare a few tasty and versatile recipes that use foods that nourish I will be sharing with you the latest information on using your own immune system in treating cancer. Between lifestyle interventions and strengthening your immune system, there is so much that you can do to help heal from and prevent recurrence of cancer. My talk will cover some of the basics of clinical trial design and how drugs move through the approval process. I'll also speak to some of the recent drug approvals in breast cancer and how they're advancing the needle in our care for our patients. I'll teach you about how you can advocate for yourself, how you can gain interdisciplinary support, and how you can find a sacred space that you can feel comfortable and seen and validated and learn to figure out how to prioritize what's the most important part of your life right in this moment. The panel will be comprised of members from patient navigation, financial counseling, and social work. Financial toxicity will be explained as well as the roles of each of these teams in helping to reduce the financial burden patients and caregivers face. Real life lessons to reestablish intimacy with one yourself and to your partner. I'll give you some tips and tricks of how to talk, how to relate, and let's just make that part of your life more comfortable. I look forward to speaking with you about radiation in general, how not to fear it, and how it's an effective tool in treating cancers.